the tweet reply AI agent just got a major update. Let me tell you all about it. First, let me talk about the theory. So there are a few ways to get discovered on Twitter, now known as x.com, and you can make a post, also known as a tweet to your profile, and you can do so using popular hashtags. So when people search for these hashtags, they see your tweet, and if they like what they see, they can click into your profile, they can follow, they can engage, they can reply. But posting also puts you in the home feed of other users. So I don't follow this person, this Nicholas Cole, and yet I'm still getting his post in my feed. And I believe the reason is because of the algorithm. Twitter's algorithm thinks that I'm going to like this post, so there is a better chance that it's going to be seen in my home feed where I can engage if I like what I see, I can follow him. But even if I don't follow, I, a new person, has entered his universe. So we do have an AI agent that automatically posts on your behalf. But the other way to get discovered, and this is what this video pertains to, is replying to other profiles. So this profile, Noah Kagan, he makes a tweet, legit question. How does every business influencer now have exactly a $100 million business? And we look down here, 259 replies, 13 retweets, 427 likes, and 83,000 impressions. If I click on this tweet and I scroll down to some of the replies, this reply by Jonathan Goodman, the harder a person tries to convince you that they're legit, the less likely they are. This tweet reply got three replies itself, 55 likes, and 2,600 impressions. So this Jonathan Goodman account is using the reach of a more popular account, that is Noah Kagan's, to get his content seen. So even if you have zero followers, if you can make a unique, real, witty, clever comment onto somebody else's post, you can still get a significant reach. This reply got 1,000 impressions. This reply got 1,600 impressions, 7,100 impressions, even a simple where do I sign up, 719 impressions. And if we can find a way to automate this reply process, we can consistently get traffic to our X profiles, which will lead to growth, sales, engagement, likes, reach, whatever you're after. And now we can do just that. Before I show you how to set it up, we have had a tweet reply agent on your AIagent.com for a bit now, but it had its limitations. These two major limitations have been fixed in this latest update. The first one was you needed a pro IFTTT account in order to send webhooks into our app. So I handle all that automatically now. You can cancel your IFTTT subscription. We are getting X profile updates directly into your AIagent.com now, which is amazing for troubleshooting. It's less of a hassle. You don't need two separate accounts. Many positives with this change. The second major update, whenever there was an image in the tweet, our AI agent would skip it and only look for text-only tweets. And it did this because it couldn't read the image in the tweet. So if this tweet was just an image, it wouldn't know what it's about, it would respond erratically, something that doesn't make sense, and it would blow our cover for being a bot. So that has been changed as well. Images in tweets are being seen by the AI agent. It's reading them, dissecting what the image and the text is supposed to convey and then responding accordingly. So two super exciting changes, let's get it running. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Head on over to youraiagent.com. Quickly, Your AI Agent is a web app that I am currently building. I'm building a business suite of AI agents that work on your company's behalf. They can do everything from content marketing to posting on Reddit to scraping the latest news, and now properly replying to tweets. Enter your name, an email address, password, re-enter your password, and then click sign up. 
it will drop you onto the settings page and we want to connect an X or Twitter account. So let's click on this tab. Now we need two things. We need to name our connection within your AI agent. I like to just call it my Twitter profile name. So that's Hey West Frank. And for the client ID, we need to hop into the developer portal, click one of your projects. If you don't have a project yet, you can create one. It's completely free. And under this new project, I'm going to click add app, name it whatever you want. Click next. We're going to click app settings and down here under user authentication settings, click setup. It says we need read and write and direct message. So let's select this here under type of app. It says we need to select native app and I'll select this. And now under app info, we are going to grab this callback URI your AIagent.com slash settings. This is the page we're on. Let's paste it in here. And I can also paste that under the website URL. Now let's click save. Then yes, it then presents us with a client ID. I'm going to copy this ID, paste it into the input box like so, and then click connect. It takes you to an OAuth page. This is the account I'm currently signed in as. Hey, Wes Frank. I'm going to click authorize app. It takes me back to this page and if everything was inputted correctly, you're going to get a notification that says your X account has been connected. So let's click OK. And if I scroll down on the connections page, I see it right here at Hey West Frank. It's an X connection. This is the date it was added and I can remove it if I no longer need it. Next, you're going to go to subscription. And if you don't have an active subscription, this button will say subscribe. It will take you to a secured Stripe checkout page. Once that has been activated, you can now go to the home page and select the tweet reply AI agent with your X connection. You can also use the X bot, but again, we're setting up a tweet reply agent. I'm going to click on this. It drops you onto the tweet reply setup page. And first you're going to want to select the X profile you have connected by default. It has selected the one I've set up, which was at Hey West Frank. Next, we need to input a Twitter profile URL. The one caveat is it needs to be a public Twitter profile. For testing, I'm going to target my profile. So let's copy this, paste it in here. Now for the writing preferences, I need to choose a tone or style. I want my replies to be witty. And for the language, I'm going to write English. Next, you can provide any additional details. So extra context for your AI agent. And this is anything about your profile or business that you want the AI agent to know. And because the AI agent is posting on my behalf from my Twitter profile, I'm going to tell it that I'm a web developer located near Toronto, Ontario. Now, just in case someone makes a location based tweet, I can respond accordingly. Before I click start agent, let's head over to my Twitter profile and I'm going to make a Twitter post. I'm going to write, it's a beautiful day for a walk outside and let's attach an image. We'll attach an image of an autumn trail. Leaves have changed colors. I'm going to post this and scrolling down, we see the tweet right here and let's see if my AI agent responds to it. So let's click start agent. It will drop you onto the workflows page where I can see all of my active workflows. Here's the one I just created. It's a tweet reply agent. I can cancel it at any point. I can click on the info button to edit. I can pause the workflow, delete it, see the upcoming check, check any error logs. I can change my writing preferences, my language, add any additional details. But if I check on my X profile, here is the tweet. I can scroll down and I see my tweet reply. It says, absolutely, just like coding, sometimes you need to step away from the screen and explore the branches of inspiration in the great outdoors. And look, it said, just like coding. And it's because it's looking at the additional details. It said, I'm a web developer. So it's responding as if it is a web developer itself. Now, if I didn't like that reply, I can fiddle around with the tone and style, the additional details and do this until I get exactly what I'm looking for until I get an AI agent that responds exactly like I would myself. And if you're wondering if the AI agent actually looked at the image, 
in the back end error logging, we get this message. Image details, this image shows a beautiful forest in autumn. The scene is filled with tall trees sporting vibrant orange, red, and yellow leaves. It's a serene and picturesque autumn landscape. It took all that information along with the tweet text and additional background information to generate the perfect reply to this tweet. If you want to try the Tweet Reply AI Agent for yourself, I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If you want to learn how I built this AI agent, maybe build one for yourself or turn it into a business, I've designed the online course How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Later.